Matt, you've chosen living Lent on the front line mm-hmm. for your reflections. Why choose that metaphor? I think it conveys something about the challenge and the complexity mm-hmm. of living as a disciple of Christ in, in our daily settings, in the workplace, in the home or in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's something valuable. I think that the, the, the language of frontline service is something we're familiar with. So the ethos of service comes mm-hmm. through. Um, some don't like the military sounding metaphor behind it perhaps, but I, I, I don't think it's it slants in that direction. Mm-hmm. It's more about challenge, complexity and, and courage as well. Mm-hmm. So asking others to contribute? Yeah, I've been ordained um, since 2005 and I've got a certain perspective, but actually what I often need to do is engage the perspective of others who are living mm-hmm. and working um, out in the world day by day to, to hear what it's like for them. Mm-hmm. In the case of Lent, what is it like for them to live Lent um, at the front line? What, what difference does Lent make to them in their daily life? That, and that for me was, it was important to ask others mm-hmm. to contribute mm-hmm. so they didn't all come mm-hmm. from me. And what have you learned from the other contributors who've taken part? Um, I think over the time I've spoken to them in what they've written, I've learnt, I think, um, the level of engagement that people have um, take the discipleship seriously, who see, who think integrated their life and their faith uh, and their work and their faith um, and often we don't see that as church, so we, there is a challenge for us to help and equip mm-hmm. people for, for a whole life discipleship mm-hmm. um, but actually a lot of people are doing it already mm-hmm. and they've thought about it very deeply and we need to listen to their experience mm-hmm. so we can share that with others who perhaps haven't as yet mm-hmm. integrated it quite uh, as much. Mm-hmm.